everyone and welcome to My Menopause Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Mae Seibel, and also the founder of My Menopause Magazine, which you can find in the Apple Newsstand. Today, we're going to talk about something I think is very important to women, and they may not even know how important it is, and that has to do with the issue of hair loss in women. A lot of times, people think that hair loss is just an issue for the guys, but that's not the case. And today we have with us Dr. Ryan Welter. Dr. Welter is a a family medicine physician who then went on to do dermatology training and is now a hair transplant specialist. And he is going to talk to us about hair loss in women. And I think you're going to find this very interesting. Welcome, Dr. Welter. Thank you for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. We were talking very briefly before we started, and we were talking about the fact that, you know, hair loss in women is not something that happens to one in a million people. It's not that uncommon, is it? That's a great, that's my favorite subject to talk about is female hair loss because it doesn't get enough publicity and people don't know that they can do a lot about it. Hair loss in women is a very common problem, uh, particularly in women over 40. Uh, There are a lot of things that cause hair loss in women. And unfortunately for women, it's, you know, it's not acceptable to have any sort of hair loss at all. I don't think that there are very many women over 50 that haven't had some thinning of their eyebrows, right? It's a very prevalent uh, issue, and it is something that, um, you know, women are normally very concerned about. I think some of the problems that we have with our society is that women, the first thing they do is they go to a product, uh, something to thicken or or do something about it right away because they're very used to putting on makeup and, and concealing their problems. And so they go for years concealing this problem when really they might have something that we can treat or reverse. If a woman is thinking she has a problem of this kind, uh, how does she know that it's, it's something is wrong? Well, the first thing that women notice is when they, you know, they comb their hair, the normal amount of hair isn't coming out. A lot more hair is coming out. They notice on the top of the head that they're, that they're thinning, that they have spots that they can see through. Mm-hmm. So with men, you know, that a lot of times we have recession of the hairline where the hairline begins at a spot and then it recedes back. Women can have that. It's a little less common. What is normally common is a more global problem where you're having hair loss over your entire scalp and, you know, in, in varying amounts at a time. And that's part of the reason that a lot of women will turn first to just concealers, thickeners, different products. They do their hair in a different way sometimes. They make those changes and they can get by. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, if they wait too long, there's, you know, it's much better to treat early than it is later. And that's, you know, that's what I go around trying to tell people to do is, um, you know, women have hair loss, they need to get it treated, and and, um, they need to learn how to treat it and how to diagnose it. Going to a regular dermatologist sometimes for hair loss issues, particularly in women, you know, they normally just check an iron level. They tell you that it's kind of, you know, normal or not something they normally treat. They might do some other um, small testing. Uh, But by and by, I see by the time women get to me, they haven't had appropriate testing. They haven't had the appropriate workup done. What we do, and different from men, when you know men lose hair, it usually almost is androgenic hair loss. It's caused by uh, derivative testosterone, which causes hair loss in the male pattern. Um, hair loss ensues. Uh huh. And in women, it's a little bit different. There are so many different things that can cause hair loss in menopausal states, post-pregnancy states. I uh, can do this. So hormonal changes and hormonal imbalances can do it. Well, I want to thank you very much. It's been a very fascinating discussion and. As as was just pointed out, um, hair loss, which is prevalent and and present in as many as 50 or more percent of women, 50 years of age or more, is something you don't have to tolerate. There's treatment. And uh, telling us about it in a very interesting and very clear way has been Dr. Ryan Welter. Dr. Welter, as I mentioned before, is a family medicine doctor originally who then went on to do a dermatology uh, training and then specialize further into hair transplant medicine. Uh, you can learn more about him or contact him at www.nehair. That's in like new, e like England, and hair, H A I R dot com. I'm your host, Dr. Mace Seibel. You've been listening to My Menopause Radio and reminds again check out My Menopause Magazine and the Apple Newsstand. 
available for the iPad. Thanks so much for listening in.